job. Let's go. Tag Team Tournament, Josh Bowler. Why are you so hostile? Hey man, I'm on your side, this no, guy over there. You're not on my side, I get to choose on, on my side. When I have the money I have, I can choose whoever's on my side. Who's on my side? Those two men right there. My Wait. daddy's paycheck bought both of them. Well, you gotta like your chances tonight, Josh. Obviously. And I work for I a bank. I always have a plan, keep that in mind. I work I for a bank, a I'll keep Keeping it in house. mind. Keeping it in mind. I work for a bank. Maybe his accounts will be looked over it. Well, Josh Fuller's a nice guy. Yeah. Barrels. <laughs> well, we got a tag team turmoil here. It is for the tag team championship of PPW Freddy, former and four-time PPW champion, South Philly's finest, Fuller's house, and a new team who, to be honest, we know, we know Montana Black and his partner, we have not got his name. Well, I know his name was Ian. Ian. I forgot his last name. Um, New here in PPW. Well, their tag team is called The Power. And if you like, Google them or send them on YouTube. Well what, are they, well, what do they want us to do, Freddie? They just walked out of here. We didn't even know they were here tonight. Yeah. We did it in South Philly. Well, Luca Brasi going to take out everybody and then tag in Jimmy Conway. You're talking about power. Here comes the power of South Philly. South Philly got the power in this match. They're be cutting for those tag belts. Well, Freddie, they're looking for the fifth chance to carry those uh, PPW tag team titles. Could this be it already? Not only two count. Okay. Jimmy Conway and Luca Brazzi have done everything here in PPW, Freddie, and that includes taking out Fuller's house. They're going to have to do that. And they're going to have to take out Montana Black and his partner, Ian. There's a tag in. Here comes Luca. Well, Brazi from the high rent district. Flying cross body. Nice reversal. Look at that monstrous. Oh, even I felt that. Now the big mother, the big mother trucker. Nope, nope. That was Isaiah Frazier. Oh, well, why is he wearing the shirt? Because Mac had to. He's got me confused, Freddie. Josh bought him the shirt. Josh's dad bought him the shirt. Okay, my bad. Maybe he should buy me a trip to Bermuda while he's at it. Well, Josh Fuller reminding us here this tonight that his uh -oh. daddy bought that team. And oh, boy, yeah, Freddie. Here comes Montana Black. And look at his. Well, Frazier doesn't know it. And now he does. Huh. He doesn't know what to think now. Well, he better do something. 
Now the big mother trucker, minus sands the shirt, Freddy, will hop into the ring and get knocked right out. Wait a minute, Brozzy the opportunist. One, two, three. Oh, he got the cover. He got him. Jim Holbert caught, counted to three. And just like that, yep. Josh Fuller's beside himself. Fuller's house is a living. Josh throwing a chair at me. Fuller is mad, yelling at Isaiah Frazier. And now Josh Fuller. What is going on in the back? I hear loud banging. There's some malarkey going on in the back. Wait a minute. That's mutt. Is that money from Capital yeah, Vices? That's money. Money hanging out in the back. It looks like the recipient of those chair shots we heard. Well, he's throwing Josh Fuller into the ring. Money without his partner, Sin. Well, I guess Josh was his temporary partner. Here, slice of bread. Three. And Fuller's now gone. Well, Josh Fuller and his team now. Out. And that leaves the big man, Montana Black, picking up Luca Brazi like a rag doll. All, all Holbert can do is beg him to put him down, and he did the hard way right into the corner. Brazi always looking for a fight, coming right back. Conway's yelling at Holbert about the choke. And Brozzi's gonna find the opposite corner just the same way he did the other corner on the other side. But look at Montana's face just smirking at the line here. Well, Montana's very comfortable with himself, Freddie. He's on, he's in control. You could send chills through your body. Here comes the Funk Show Express. Now the Funk Show Express, the next entrant. Jimmy Conway gonna get punched out by Montana Black. Meanwhile, we got a we got a party going on on the outside of the ring, flashing everywhere. Lights, Funk Show Express is out here. I think I see a conga line here. Wouldn't be the first time in Hazelton. Bruno Mars playing all over this place. Meanwhile, Luca Brasi can care about about Bruno Mars. He's getting beat to a pulp in the middle of the ring by a man twice, maybe four times his size. Montana Black Show and the power that he has. Freddie, how do you feel if you're Luca Brasi? Everybody here is dancing around the ring and you are getting pummeled. Uh, that would be a really bad feeling here. The Funk Show is still dancing around the ring, even during the match, is still going on. Well, Holberg telling him to stop dancing and get involved in the match. Brasi's fighting his way out. Jimmy Conway looking over. Wait a minute. Funk showing some hang time. Both of them going up to the top. JT Funk for the pin. Broken up by both teams. JT Funk and Showtime 6 capturing the imagination of these crowd, this crowd here in PPW. Wait a minute. Got him. The power's been turned off. Well, JT Funk has just made the pin. And now we're down to the Showtime 6 in the South Philly's finest. That's and wait fun. a minute, we got music playing here. Holbert's gonna try to keep these guys from tagging each other when we wait for the third. And oh, it's the PPW Tag Team Champions! The Punk Rock All-Stars. This turbo match is for the tag team belts. That's the prize. Freddie, this morning, Dre Carter did not sport that hairdo. He showed in up at 5'10. Tonight, he is 6'8. Sean Cannon and Dre Carter showing up. They're the ones who took the South Philly's finest titles from them. Just a mere month ago. Now it's down to Aston. And they got a new manager out there as well. Boy. 
Delilah showing up at Punk with the Punk Rock All-Stars here tonight. Freddie, I got to ask you, what do you think Delilah's plans are here tonight to keep her guys with the belt? Uh, I'd say the odds might be against them because there's two other tag teams gunning for it. Well, Freddie, you are a mathematical genius. It is a 33% chance. You are right. 33 to 66. That is not a favorable number for the Punk Rock All-Stars. But the next pinfall is going to take the tag team belts. Is it going to be Showtime 6 and JT Funk or South Philly's Finest or will Punk Rock retain? Well, you know, you look at South Philly's Finest. They've got the experience. They've got the credentials here in PPW. Drake Carter and Sean, or I'm sorry, Sean Cannon and Drake Carter both rolling out of the ring. Delilah over there looking with great intent. Look at the street smart strategy here. The two tag teams trying to get the tag champs. Fans calling them a coward. You both they can wrestle each other. We don't need to be in there. We're the champions. He's arguing with the crowd. And wait, right out in front of us is Mayhem. As the Funk Show Express take it to Sean Cannon right out in front of us. Oh, that's, Drake Carter. that's Drake Carter. Uh, no, it's not. My bad, Sean Cannon. I'm a bad man. Don't you confuse me, Freddie. I have enough confusion sitting next to Paul Bo. I don't need you to confuse me either. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, Funk Show Express taking it to one of the, or I'm sorry, the Funk Show Express taking it to one part of Bunk Rock All-Stars. South Philly's finest taking care of Drake Carter over on the other side. I don't know if it's Drake. I'm going to call him Drake Carter. No comment. Freddie, do your homework. Well, this is good strategic planning with, with the other teams taking out the champs. Well, Funk Show Express continuing to take it. Double chop coming. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, South Philly's finest going to throw Drake Carter in by his... What, is that a horn? Does Drake Carter have a bent horn? Freddie, are you still with me? It was straight, now it's not. Carter saying he doesn't want any more. He's right out in front of us. Meanwhile, Luca Brazzi taking it to Sean Cannon in the middle of the ring. Freddie Brazzi has got to be tired. He's been in there most of the match. JT Funk, the opportunist. Nope. That ain't going to work. And through all that, I think Holbert's the one that's the most winded. <laughs> Talk about turmoil. It's living up to this match's name. Uh -oh. Well, Jimmy Jimmy Conway's not going to like that. And these two teams, an up-and-coming team in the Funk Show Express, a veteran team in South Philly's Finest going at it right now, Freddie. Oh, they didn't like that being pushed around. Double atomic drop from South Philly's Finest. Luca Brasi, we've seen this before. Meanwhile, a tag from Punk Rock All-Stars. Drake Carter's going to get him and throw him into the corner. Smart move. Smart move all around. Take out both, both tag teams. Absolutely. Yes. Almost had the cover there. Well, you know, you're going to have to do a lot more to JT Funk. He's the freshest one in here with his partner, Showtime 6. You're going to have to do a little bit more to him that, than that, Freddie. Meanwhile, Jimmy Conway hung up like a set of clothes in the backyard. Conway, the fresher of the two of South Philly. Brazi up on the top. Somebody call Hazelton Airport. Someone's about to fly. South Philly Ooh. frog splash oh. by Brazi. Conway gets thrown out like yesterday's garbage. There goes Showtime 6. Brazi and Showtime 6 both. Punk Rock's got the tights. Homer calls it. Oh, 
perfect timing for the Punk Rock All-Stars to take that one. You're right, Freddie. Punk Rock All-Stars retain here at the PPW Super Show. Seemingly going through every tag team PPW has. A hard win, a hard fought win tonight, Fred.